Last night, our 8 News Now investigators showed you how close a man came to Governor Lombardo amid ongoing claims of stalking and harassment. And tonight, how you can protect your information online. 8 News Now investigator David Charns with the easy things all of us can do right now, David. Right, and you can find almost everyone's phone number and address online these days, but with a little effort, you can regain a little more privacy. I just knock on the door. Nobody answering now. Prosecutors say that's 28 year old Stanley Weaver knocking on the door of a home where he believed Governor Joe Lombardo lived with his family. The 80s now investigators learning Weaver searched names and addresses, eventually finding a home near a Lombardo family member. There is not a way to be completely invisible. Adam Jackson is the CEO of 360 Privacy, a company helping people control what information of theirs lives online. Part of their work is helping people scrub personal data like phone numbers and addresses, even part social security numbers from hundreds of websites. What can people do to remove their information that is freely accessible right there on the internet? Google yourself, look at all of the data broker sites that are on page one through three, Go to those sites. Almost all of those sites have a way to uh, remove your information from the search results. Many of those so-called data brokers allow people to opt out of having their information readily available to a potential threat actor. But Jackson says doing that is worth it. He says on average, a stalker will pay $8 and perform an hour of research to find their target. I just knocked on the door. While Weaver ultimately recorded himself at the wrong house, documents the 80s now investigators obtained reveal he may have gone to that specific location because of a photo of a person close to the governor in front of that home on social media from 12 years ago. And that photo was still online. I think there's going to have to be some type of legislation to slow down uh, how data moves and how it's uh, being made available to the, to the general public and anybody that's willing to pay for it. So another tip is you can hide your voter registration data that is also public. Clark County allows you to go online, you fill in a form, then you mail it in, and that makes all information like your address, sometimes a phone number, confidential. And never post anything identifiable, identifiable that is like a house number in any photo ever to social media. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. All very good tips. Thank you, David. Regarding a report from last night, Metro Police say they attempted to serve a temporary protection order against Weaver three times. As our 8 News Now investigators told you, that order filed from a former neighbor was never actually given to him.